Welcome to the Seller Roundtable e-commerce coaching and business strategies with Andy Arnott and Amy Wees. <laughs> I'm glad that you just mentioned systems because that's uh, something that, um, you know, uh, that, that's another thing that I, you know, doing a lot of self-realization lately. That was one of the things that I was extremely lacking on is, um, you know, having systems and, and frameworks into place uh, just because if you don't have that, then you don't know where to focus and you don't know where to put your energy and there's so much yep. wasted energy. Um, <clears throat> you're saying you, you develop that for, um, for companies and things. Do you have kind of a base that you, you work from or um, what, what's your process in building those systems? Um, I, I'm, a, I'm an old school data scraper. I mean, in 2004, I was scraping competitors' data, big vendors' data for – 3P sellers, um, because that's, let's get into a market before the vendor does, or, you know, hey, they're selling to this group on this forum. You should be there too. Get your slice of the business. You know, even, even then in 2007, I used to laugh and I'd go in a, a meeting with every new client and say, hey, if I can get you one-tenth of 1% 1 of Amazon's business, you're fat and happy. Now it's even more so. Um, I'm all, if I got to do something the same way for three days in a row, I got to automate it. I mean, it's just what I got to do. I got I have a lot of, uh, you know, my, my tracking systems and stuff is Excel and Python based. Somebody right. built it, built it for me a long time ago. And then I've learned to tweak it just the way I want. Sure. Um, there's some really good programs out there, uh, for, for data scraping and I can get anything off of, out of an Amazon listing and we monitor questions asked, reviews, sellers, prices, all the details, image URLs. I can get all of that like that. Um, and I, I don't think I've ever logged into Amazon with my real IP from yeah. my, from here ever. I, I, yeah. I mean, I just, I, that's my server back there. Um, and it's running, it's running every day, all day long. And it's got two or three VMs right now running with rotating IPs through VPN and they're all on Amazon. Yeah. And yeah at this time of day, they're all on Amazon. Um, and it's interesting because, you know, when you're looking at a category or you're looking at um, a lot of listings at once in a particular group, I can see when, let's say you're the competitor, I can see when you're in there making mass changes to your account, to your products, dropping the price or doing, you know, taking a new angle. It's obvious because you can just see this shift that you don't see at the seller level. Right. You don't, you know, any, there's all these Listing, opti listing optimization services out there and listing optimization. If I, if I work on somebody's listing or you work on somebody's listing and you say when you're done, hey, here it is, it's great, it's gonna do you really good. But you've never, you didn't look at any other listings, any of the competition. The real measurement of listing quality is how well it converts, which is how well it stands up against the competition. If the top listings in a category are crap, you only have to be a little bit better than crap to own the category. Yeah. But if you have a, a great listing, but the top listings are really, really good, it doesn't matter who made it for you, you can't compete. But how often do you see that in any listing optimization handout or, or video, uh, you know, stand it up next to the top sellers? If I'm looking at a listing for somebody, the first thing I'm gonna do is bring up the top five or 10 other listings for their main key keywords. And I'm going to put their listing side by side and look at it and say, wow, you know, this stands up or it doesn't stand up. And I don't mean to put anybody down because some of the listings are really good, but if it's not better, it doesn't matter how good it is. It really, really doesn't. I don't get it. I, I just don't get that sellers don't look at the people in front of them. You know, ranking is such a big deal, but they don't give a crap about it, who's around them or who's ahead of them. If you want to compete with the best, emulate them, be the best. You know, if you want to be, if you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. Thanks for tuning in. Join us every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for live Q&A and bonus content after the recording at sellerroundtable.com. Sponsored by the ultimate software tool for Amazon sales and growth, sellerseo.com and amazingathome.com.